process query and operational alerting are critical when it comes to ensuring that best practices are followed, compliance is maintained, and overall risk is minimized. Uh, these things are especially critical across any competitive business landscape where customer satisfaction is of the utmost importance. Maintaining compliance is often an auditory requirement and negative results can be costly. Now, due to the severity of these consequences, business users need to be notified when non-compliant, risky, or inefficient behaviors are taking place within their processes and to be able to take action prior to those risks adversely affecting the business. Now, another extremely powerful aspect of these alerts is the capability to have them kick off automated or robotic workflows aimed at instantly resolving the issues with no requirement for human intervention necessary. Now, we'll start by taking a look at an unexpected scenario which has occurred within a credit card processor's customer onboarding workflow and then move on to see how predefined alerts designed to automatically trigger robotic processes can mitigate those issues in next to no time. Now, what you can see on screen, each one of these horizontal lines represents a separate timeline, and in this scenario, it's actually representing an application that someone has submitted to this credit card processor in the hopes that they'll be approved for a card. Okay, you can see these icons I'm hovering over represent activities or events that have happened along the way as a part of these applications. So you can imagine we have all the different activities that may have occurred as a part of each one of these applicants processes and each one of these could have in theory occurred on separate systems of record. Okay, so we're piecing together the full life cycle of each and every one of these process instances. Now what we want to do is go off and search for an unexpected scenario here. Okay, and in this specific scenario, we want to see, is there any record of us processing these applications, submitting card offers to applicants, where we have no record of a fraud or credit check occurring on that application? Now, you wouldn't think logically that that should ever happen, but by using a, a BI or another type of reporting or analysis tool, you wouldn't really be able to answer that type of question. Right? BI doesn't ha have any concept of multiple events happening or not happening in context of an application. So let's try to ask this question using our query editor, which allows us to build sequencing and patterns of events to see if these things may or may not be occurring within our business process. So in this case, what we've said is, We've actually received an application, so we'll define that as our starting event. We've gone on to maybe assign a processor as a part of that application, so somebody's assigned to process that. What we would expect then is that person then goes off and runs a fraud or credit or background check on the applicant, and then subsequently we would then see a card offer be made. Okay. Now in this scenario, what I've said is, we have not actually done this third step. So we'll say, how often do we do these two events, not do event three, which is our critical fraud or credit check, and then subsequently offer the card to the applicant? Now again, this would not be something we would expect, but, a, but we really wouldn't be able to answer this type of question any other way. Okay, so now I go off and I'll actually search based on this new condition, because I have a hunch, and it comes back telling me, yes, you have this exact scenario occurring. 104 applications have that specific scenario, and here they are for me. I filtered it down. Now that's interesting, okay? Now a nice thing about these queries is they're actually designed to trigger alerts. So we can notify people prior to us ever hitting the stage where we are offering cards on non-checked applications. That way somebody can step in and ensure we're not completing this non-compliant or risky workflow. So let's take a look at some of these alerts and the capabilities there. So we have a missing fraud check alert that I've got created here. There's a number of different ways that we can then notify people and in also kick off unmanned workflows to possibly remediate the issue without having to involve anyone at all. So you see, I could either send an email, I could send it by text, or I could create a web service call. Now in this case, what we've done is we've designed a web service which will trigger 
a blue prism robot which will automatically run that fraud and credit check for me on our applicants okay and I actually want to show you this happen in real time so let me just scoot this out of the way we'll look at our blue prism server and what I'm going to do here is trigger this alert to run and we'll actually watch the robot in real time start to remediate this issue by returning data about a, a background or a credit check for these applicants. So you can see we've picked up the process run here and the, and the robot's now running. Now this could be triggered automatically by the Timeline PI Intelligent Process Mining application. This alert's kicked off. We're now running background and credit checks on our applicants and returning the data making our data set now whole and now on the back end of this we can then transport that data back from the blue prism application into timeline pi to validate whether or not we've got instances that are still a violation okay and now let's say we've got our robot run we expect that all of the process instances should be remediated nothing unexpected should be occurring here we can actually go back here and validate that by running that same exact query and now that we've transported those extra events that have been inserted by that by that bot blue prism bot I search based on the new criteria no nothing returned so what we've got here is automatically remediating that missing fraud or credit check via a simple web service call from Timeline PI to a Blue Prism robot to ensure that we're not completing these non-compliant or risky workflows.